What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Shoop. You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update with the composite off about 0.33%, Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.61%, uh, the DXY off about 0.39%, uh, crude up about 3.17, that E-mini off about 0.26%, you have uh, gold contract trading off about 0.10%, uh, then silver also off about 0.17, uh, along with copper actually doing okay, up about 1.29% trading at 442 on that contract. Uh, let's take a look just real quick, finish up everything on uh, the FERC decision uh, to essentially expand or, you know, so let's go, let's go through this, right? So basically Amazon Web Services wanted to co-locate uh, at the Susquehanna um, kind of nuclear power generation facility here. This was, you know, one of the major issues of drawing from the grids for these major data centers was the requirements to update all of the stuff that currently exists. Uh, obviously, that's going to increase uh, load demand. Uh, the idea to do this co-location was supposed to be in a way uh, to kind of satisfy what the FERC uh, wanted. We can go through that a little bit. This is, of course, from, you know, Talon Energy, so keep that in mind, right? These guys who were denied this increase um, of 180 megawatts here. Uh, so let's look. Order rejecting the amended Susquehanna interconnection service agreement between PJM interconnection, PPL, and Talon, which would increase co located load capacity at Talon Susquehanna nuclear power generation facility from 300 to 480. On Friday, FERC issued uh, an order denying these three. Uh, basically to increase by that much. Talon believes FERC erred and uh, they're evaluating options with the focus of commercial solutions. Okay, contrary to the commission's ruling, Talon's co-location arrangement with AWS is part of the solution to issues raised on November 1st at the FERC technical conference on a large co-located load. It brings service to the customer quickly and without expensive transmission upgrades necessary to serve the large load demand. Yeah. And then you have Chairman Willie Phillips didn't like that. He said, failing to accept the agreement, we are rejecting protections that the interconnected transmission owner said will enhance reliability uh, while also creating unnecessary roadblocks to an industry that is necessary for our national uh, security. And he says more too. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday. It is election day. We're gonna be joined by Basil Chapman and uh, Tim Orr then. We'll, we'll see you there. If you spend any time on